Hey everybody, so I am back again today with my first project share of 2015 and surprise surprise it's a journal. Um, I think my channel will be geared all towards journaling you guys so I hope you don't get tired of it. Um, it's just that it's my favorite thing to do. I will be doing some like little other things like I want to do some more ultra dominoes and stuff like that and charms but you know you'll see that maybe throughout the year but mostly you'll see journals. Um, so this one I just finished up today and this is for a YouTube friend of mine and it's for Lori W. Um, if you saw my other video you guys know that she gifted me this one. And I love it. It's very beautiful. So I told her um, that, you know, I want to reciprocate and make her one. So this is the one that I created for, for Lori. And I will link Lori's channel in my description box. Um, she also makes beautiful journals, junk journals. Just awesome. Um, so yeah, so this is for her. And I... You know, cut all the chipboard and made the construction of the journal myself, like glued it. And uh, this is only my second time doing it. And I think it turned out pretty nice. So it's like super thick chipboard. It has three signatures. And if you're wondering what is a signature, because I get that question a lot, or we get it a lot over at the Junk Journal Junkies page, it is these group of papers that are folded. So it has three signatures. And it measures five and a half by seven and a quarter. Inside pages are um, five by seven. So the paper collection that I use, let me show you, is an absolutely gorgeous one. It is the Kaiser Craft 75 cents collection. And those are all the papers. This is really, really beautiful collection. So I used that one. Um, I did not stamp this. It was part of the pattern paper. I knew I wanted to use this on the cover. But the title, I'm still not sure if I'm going to add a title. I may just let Lori do that herself. But um, yeah, so I just covered it and I used that... Um, that gel, I can't remember the name of it, to, you know, to put the seal on the top. You can see it's kind of shiny. Um, I use this vinyl from Hobby Lobby, and I've seen this on many, actually the first time I saw it was on a mini album a couple years ago. And then um, one of the ladies over at Junk Journal Junkies showed a journal with this. And then... Um, reminded me of, you know, to go buy some. So I did. And I love it. I love that embossing look onto it. So that's just on the spine. And then I, I didn't kind of want that raw edge there. So I just put some seam binding. And I added this little charm on a garment uh, pin. So let's go inside. Closure, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If I'm even going to add one. But here's the inside. Um, the spine I covered with the pattern paper and then add this um, edge punch to give it a little more finished look. So this is just mostly like a journal. She can put, you know, photos and some journaling or, you know, she can do whatever she wants. But it's just mostly um, all coffee dyed paper and uh, some stamping. Like I stamped there. Here is a little tuck spot. This is a vintage postcard that I got at the antique store. And just all, you know, coffee dyed paper. These are baked because they're more crinkly. Um, here's an envelope, some washi tape. This is a printable from Pinterest. This is stickers from the collection. Um, and some of the pattern paper, I added some trim because I wanted to have that kind of vintage and I just wanted to, you know, give it some texture. 
I've seen it on a few junk journals and I really like it. Um, this is a stamp. It's also a stamp that I got recently at the Rubber Stamp Show. Here's a piece of vellum. I just used my Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch. I love this. I was debating if I was going to put this on the front cover. But I went with the other one. Here is a pocket with just um, a couple of tags with some black seam binding at the top. There's the other piece of the vellum. This is a chipboard butterfly that I had in my stash and um, I just added it there, glued it. Some pages I left blank, um, you know, for her to decorate herself. Um, this is a little cutout from this here. I always photocopy this because I don't want to cut into the original and I got this from Paula who is the Paula 98 thank you Paula so I always photocopy and then just you know do the cutouts so that came from that this is a Pinterest image and it is linked to an Etsy store so I purchased that and I love this image I saw it on Cheryl's video and she always has like great printables in her journals she finds the most amazing images. Um, here's a little pocket. Um, this paper is just like the ends of the paper. So I took it and um, just stamped, you know, onto it and made a little journaling spot. I love that balloon stamp. It's a Hampton Art stamp set. I love this color. Here's some pom-pom trim. And I saw that on Susan Zellett's, um little mini that she did for Yvonne. So, of course, I had to go and buy some of it. So cute. And here is a index card that I coffee stained and then just did some stamping. And it's a little tuck spot. This is a little tag that I purchased from Rachel. I have been dying to get this stamp set. But you can't find it anymore in Hobby Lobby. It's a stamp pen and a stamp set. So I purchased those from Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Um, just a doily. More stamping. Here's a pocket with another one of those little cutouts. Um, this butterfly is from the stamp set that Leslie just gifted to me. Thank you, Leslie. Um, some stamping and just, you know, coffee stained envelopes so she can tuck some stuff in there. Um, this is some book pages that was um, gifted to me by Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. So I added those in here. I love this stamp. That's another new one I got at the rubber stamp show. Um, Teresa had also gifted me some of these papers, coffee dye papers. Now, not this one, but um, hers were, I don't know, forgive me, I don't know if this is Chinese or Japanese, but I found the book at a my library's book sale, and like literally the day before Teresa gifted it to me, so I snatched up that book at the book sale and did the same, um, coffee dyed it. Um, this is just a little scrap of lace that I had, and I kind of left it open. It's kind of made it like a little banner. Um, it's a pocket. Again, that Etsy image. Oh, some blue. Love those images. Um, here is a doily. Now, I got these doilies at Michael's, and they were all stuck together. So I think maybe on this one there's two or something. But I couldn't. Um, I was going to return it and never got around to it. Typical me. Oops. That's washi tape there. I'm going to have to glue it. Um, here is another page with some more trim. 
Um, some more stamping there. It's a little piece of glue. Oops. Here is another pocket so she can put stuff there. Mostly all my stamps are um, the Michaels $1.50 spot stamps. Here I stitched a tag and then kind of added some glue and then used my um, tiny attacher to adhere it. So I made a little tuck spot. Um, that's the sticker from the collection. So. Here is a bag that I just um, added in and that's also a Pinterest image. I know Lori W loves cats so I had this here stamp, so I stamped that. I think she has a couple of cats. Um, here, just some journaling spots uh, from the collection, and then just one that I stamped. Here is just a scallop circle that I folded in half from the extras that was left over. So I just added it there. Um, this is a glassine bag. Here is a coffee dyed coin envelope, and I just added, um, you know, a lace or a paper doily to that to kind of spruce it up a little bit. More stamping, journaling spot. Um, because the collection it only had, I think, six pattern papers, so I actually photocopied some of the pattern papers and use it again um, within the book. So this is actually a photocopy of the original and it's just a pocket. So she can put some photos in there or whatnot. Um, I love this trim. So it um, has like little pom-poms on the edge. Again, just some of that scrap paper. This is a sticker from the collection. I love that B stamp from Michaels. Mm, I love that stamp too. That's from that Jane's Garden, I think it's called. And this is the back. So that is Lori's chunky little journal. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to add a closure. If I do, it's, well, I don't know. It's probably going to be a piece of seam binding. But I don't know. Um, anyways, you guys, um, thank you all so much for watching. And um, if you have any questions about any of the stamps um, or anything, just uh, let me know and I'll get back to you. Um, thank you, everyone. Bye.